<laughs> it is, yeah. We've done this intro about three times. I'm gonna be drunk, bro. Cause like, I was gonna do like, have a sip of the Magnum every time we start, like. I'm gonna be drunk, bro. if we have to do this any more times. Why, hi? Welcome back to Cook and Vibe. Um, oh, he's had a Magnum. <laughs> Forgot my name. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm him that are. That's Connect for Entertainment. This is Cook and Vibe. We're not outside. We're inside. Because it's freezing! No, I'm joking. <laughs> Listen, there's a madness going on out there. So we can't show you that yet. Today, we are making Magnum Chicken Wings. Yes, you heard it right. Magnum Chicken Wings with plantain fries. That we are dealing with today, people. You get me? Like I said, we're indoors, car, outside. Things are gone. And we don't want you to see that yet. You're gonna see the documentary before you see what I've gone out there. So, yeah man, excited for you lot to see what I've gone out there. That's why we're indoors. And I thought, all right, we're not cooking outside. We're not doing a mad up, but Magnum chicken wings, it's a mad thing, man. Let's get into it, people, why not? Yeah, ingredients. Now, I don't wanna over season the chicken wings, right, because the simple fact is the magnum and the sauce that's gonna go on it is the flavor we wanna taste. So usually I put a good piece of seasoning from the chicken wings before I fry them. But today we're not gonna do that. Big up Jamaica Valley. Check them out in the link for all your seasonings. This one, I really like this one. Pimento and Scotch bonnet. I, lo I love this little seasoning. It's different. It's different and I really like it. So that's all we're gonna use. So obviously you don't know, so we have chicken wing. Yeah, cut up your chicken wings and make sure you wash your chicken. You know anything that. Yeah, so let's, let's give a good piece of that. Good piece of that in there. And just, you know what, you know when you're seasoning, yeah? I always find when I put the seasoning in and then I give it one mix, I think, ooh, bit more, a little bit more. Uh, I'll tell you why we wanna put it quite a bit. So we're gonna dip this in some milk. Now obviously everything you do when you're seasoning meat, you should do it previously a night before or two hours prior. But I cook kind of vibe, so you know anything. So yeah, basically once the, the wings coated, we're gonna into some and then what we're gonna do is put the flour on top of that. But I'm just showing you the process. Now what we've got is the mad thing. This is a special cook and vibe flower we have rest here, you get me? So, yeah man, we're just gonna keep wing in there and then coat it with flour. You can just use normal flour, you know? Put a little piece of, uh, little piece of um, I'm junking. <laughs> He's saying the wrong words, man. <laughs> Magnum chicken wings, that me I tell you, man. You can put some all purpose seasoning in your flour. <laughs> to ask, <Clark. laughs> He's had a magnum. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, so you got nice and coated. Yeah? Lovely and nice. You get me? Because we, we lost a bit of the seasoning through the milk, I'm just gonna go in and again, a little bit of spice and just toss that around in it. So that gets mixed in with some of the, the coating we've got in there, the special cook and buy flour. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, there we have it, people. So this is the stage one of the operation, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the air fryer today, Kai. It's 2021 and nothing more with the times. You see me? Yeah, we're gonna use the air fryer. I've never used an air fryer for wings. So I don't even know if it's gonna work. But everyone at home, you would probably know if it's gonna work or not. You've probably done it yourself. I know they're quite, you know, most people got them in their houses these days. I've actually got one, 
I don't really use it. I'm just an old school kind of, you know, so I, I, with chicken ninja, ninja man who get oil and just fry it same way because you know them old people that nah, don't know that new, all that new technology stuff. That's me with cooking. I like to just keep it, you know. But yeah, we're gonna try something different today. Air fryer. So we're gonna put them in there 18 minutes. 18 minutes in the air fryer. And um, then we shall go to uh, the next step, the operation. Why not? We're gonna make some planting fries. We're gonna do them in the air fryer as well, yeah? Takes a couple minutes, simple things. Now, get some green ones, green planting, yeah? You don't want yellow planting because it's just gonna end up mushy. You ain't gonna get any fries, you're just gonna get sog. You see me? So, yeah, green planting and um, just cut them into to like fries, innit? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really that difficult to work out. Weren't the magnum, it was just that particular planting. Don't lay with me, Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver don't have to peel a planting like that. Bulk jerk rice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, all right. Now what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna different. <laughs> but yeah, it all cooks the same way. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is gonna cut them in half, then I'm gonna go once and twice. Yeah. Once. Oh. <laughs> oh, mate. I'm gonna lay off the magnet, boy. Twice. Subscribe, please. You don't want to. Why would you want to miss this, bro? This is the best energy show, cooking show on YouTube. I can't say show on YouTube. Can't Wally Pugwood shows on YouTube. But cooking wise, look, can yeah, I get better than this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is my last sip. Cause we need to save some for the wings. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last sip, people. So. Why I? We got Ray and nephews. Magnum. It's my favourite drink. Fucking pop. Fries. Planting fries. Green planting fries. Yeah, man. So we got our green planting fries there. Oh, like I said, I'll put these in the air fryer for about three, four, three to five minutes, I'd say. Have a check on them, I don't think they're gonna take any longer than that. You get me, nothing else goes perfect with some magnum chicken wings than some planting fries. Why do I? Why I? You've done most of the chicken wings already now. You get me, come out quite good in the air fryer, man. You get me? Yeah. Not bad, not bad, it's all right. So that is stage one. So we have our chicken wings, right? Connect forward trying to make me burn myself on camera. But Nina, stop it. <laughs> you see me? So this is the next stage. Now we're gonna get the magnum involved. All right? So this is the ingredients what we're gonna use next. And so we're gonna go back with the seasoning. Honey, all right? Honey and magnum and a little seasoning. That was, that's what we're gonna do, right? Yeah, see these magnum, right, people? First of all, we're gonna put the honey in. Yeah, so let's just get all the honey in because I always think that you can't have enough sauce. You know what I'm saying? You can never have enough sauce. So we're, we're using the whole thing of honey. Looking at that, I feel like I want more honey, but I say God. Now, a lot of people say this is the fake magnum. 
It's not fake. It's not fake, it's owned by Ray and Nephews and they sell them in Tesco's and various places like that. Believe me, they can't do that. They can't sell fake products. This is not fake. This is just distributed in the UK. So this magnet comes from Jamaica, but it is distributed in the UK. That's why it's got this label. This one comes from Jamaica. Imported directly from Jamaica. That's why it looks like that. But there is no different. They have the same drink and everything good. So you can use this, no problem. But you don't know, say, we are use this one. Because we use the imported one. So we've got the honey in here now, warming up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the magnum. Add the magnum in there. Nice bit of it. I don't want to add too much because I don't want to make it too liquidy. So I think that's enough magnum in there. So seasoning. Alright, I'm just gonna dash a tiny bit of seasoning in there. Just so that coats round it. Because inside here you got Scotch bonnet chili flakes. Right? You can see the chili flakes in there. So that's kind of like what we want a bit. There we go. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna give this a stir around. Make the magnum mix in nicely with the honey, you know? Mm, do you know what it smells like? You know like um, mulled wine? You know like mulled wine you get at Christmas time? It's, it's kind of what... Kind of smells like that. It's got that uh, kind of aroma coming off it. So what we're going to do is we're literally just going to warm this up till it's nice and warm. So when the wings, they just stick to it all nicely and there's the meat. In this meantime, whilst you're doing this, you want to put your plantain fries in the air fryer. I've put mine in for five minutes. So, um, yeah. That should be done by the time this is warmed up and ready to go. Magnum tonic wine sauce for your chicken wings. It's in white. Yeah, ready. Now I would like this to be a little bit thicker, I think a little bit more honey. Uh, I, I wouldn't say less magnum because we, we can't have less magnum, you know what I'm saying? But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat this bottom part. Yeah? All right, so what we want to do now is just, we want to coat. We want to make sure it's all coated. Oh, they smell amazing, bruv. Just want to coat all that. And then get them all covered. There we go. Why I people? Yeah? There we have it. Magnum tonic wine chicken wings. Jamie Oliver, you know what to do. Tell him what to do, people. Tell him what to do in the comments. Them look wicked. And a chill. Yeah, man.
happy with them. Kind of don't want to taste them yet until the, the, the fries are done. Yeah! Hey, this, I think this might be one of the coolest ones I've done. I've really, obviously, Magnum's my favorite drink. I love chicken wings. I love honey chicken wings. I'm just gonna recoat it before I try this. And then we're gonna go in. Let it taste. So good. It's like the Magnum. You can't taste it. Like it don't over. It just gives it a flavour. It's not like you can taste Magnum. Ah, uh, the spice is there. The sweetness from the honey. The flavour from the tonic wine. Yo, people, this is a new thing. Man could sell these all day long. Magnum, but it's a mad thing. It's a ma I couldn't even wait for the fries to be ready. I really wanted to try them. Come and eat some honey wings up there. I think you're that bad. Magnum honey wings. Come on, man. You know you see it first. Cook and buy it. Why? We soon we'll get the fries ready and then try the fries. Yeah, so the fries then ready. Got them fries ready. What is that? Ready to eat crisps. Ready to eat crisps. So there you have it. Chicken wings and chips. Jamaican style. Magnum, tonic wine, chicken wings, and banana fries. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna play it. I must have a little piece of food, a couple of fries, some chicken wings. You know what I'm saying? And ease back. We don't know how to jingle, people. Four two big ups. You know what we You see this house we're in right now? This is, we've been doing cooking a bad a lot lately. And we're building something outside the magic. That's why we're inside today. So you don't know Connect 4 Entertainment is the other half of Cook and Vibe. Does the editing and all them things there. So in this building is where he does smoke sessions. If you've never seen smoke sessions, you need to check that out. It's artists, you get me, they come and do your freestyle and then thing there. Myself is on there, not big artists, you know. You need to check it out, you know, just check out Connect for Entertainment on YouTube. You've literally just got to type in, but today we're going to give you an exclusive behind the scenes. He's probably looking, thinking, what the... F Listen, I don't care what he says. It's his cook and vibe. you got to get the exclusive thing. It's his cook and vibe entertainment. <laughs> you get it? You like that one there? Cook and vibe entertainment. <laughs> no, man, listen. Come, just follow me, yeah? I'm gonna smell you this. I'm gonna show you the smoke station. Voila. Yes! But this is where it happens, yeah? These lights go on. All this light comes on, everything, and. You see me? I'm gonna do the new one real soon. Like, real soon. Like, in the next week or so. You get me? So just make sure you all go over to Connect4 Entertainment, subscribe to the channel, check out all the freestyles on there. I already got one on there. If you ain't seen that, go and check out my freestyle on there. And I'm gonna have a new one coming out next week. So make sure you press the notification button, bell, so you don't miss that. You see me? Yeah, man. This, uh, he built this himself. 
You know, you know what he's like by by now. You know what he's like when he's dealing with things. Come here, one day. Imagine what his landlord thinks when he when he comes to you, bro. We left my house, man. Built all yeah, like built the whole team literally himself. Cut all this out like himself. All the lights and everything. Yeah, man. Actually, I might even I might even be able to show you. Voila. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the engineering room. This is the engineering room. You get me? If you've ever seen this, this is in season one. And this is what we started with. So basically, I had done a freestyle and I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to just put it out as anything. So I said, yo, because obviously me and Connect Four we weren't thinking about it. I'm very gym bus. I said, yo, so I want to shoot this video, but I like, oh, just come to the studio with me, film it, and just put some words and stuff. So we've done that. He must have just come back with, watched the video and come up with this smoke sessions idea. That's where it started. So my original first one wasn't even in the actual studio. I missed out on this. The rest of the artists are on there. Trends, Jammer from Boy Better Know. What are your people? You know what I'm saying? So this was series one. Series two is downstairs what you're seeing. Do you know what? We're going, we're going behind the scenes today. So, just, so inside here, This is the recording booth. The mic's here. This is the recording booth. Um, he's building something. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there, bro. Something. But yeah, this is the recording booth. So this is where you record. This is the engineering room. Uh, we might not show you inside here. Uh, Cole we might have some Jamaican cigarette papers around and stuff like that. So shh. told you, you lot are getting the exclusive because you don't know you are quick on vibes. So anything to do with Connect for Entertainment, you don't know a family thing. So it's a family thing, people. Make sure you subscribe and everything there because you're getting on this exclusive. This is going to be for Series 3. Yeah, no one knows Wagwan yet. Only you know. Don't tell no one. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the game for Season 3. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm mad thing at the moment, but um, I've, I've been down there painting, yeah, I've been down there painting, and right now, the floor's just being done, so once the floor's done, um, everything, this is going to be a mad thing here, this is the season series three, it's going to be mad, you get me, so do you know what, I think I'm going to do the big ups down here, let's do the big ups car, I've saved it. Save it on my phone. All right. Big up Sean G. Yeah? And said, big up M the arm, connect for cook and vibe for life. Love that, my G. Sean G, big up yourself, my bro. Why up? And big up Spud A H. And said, cook and vibe is on another level. Also, always smashing new ideas. Definitely the Garden Cook Warrior. So I like them titles, you know. I like them ones there. Always blessed even more on a Sunday with Cook and Vibe. You don't know. Honestly, people, this show is to just give you a good energy, man. That's what we do. It's all about positive energy and just giving you a vibe even if you don't like cooking. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if you don't like cooking, but if you like cooking, you know anything, though. Yeah, man! M.R. Connect for entertainment, cook on vibe. We'll see you next week, man. Why not?